your Windows PC is watching you right now. And I'm not talking about hackers, I'm talking about Microsoft itself. Every keystroke, every search, even your voice is being collected. But here's the good news. You can stop most of it in the next 10 minutes. Let's dive in. Windows collects over 10 different types of data by default. Collects information from your camera, microphone, apps, and even your saved passwords. And trust me, the last one is the most shocking. Stay tuned. First up, Windows literally created a unique ID just to track you across apps and websites. Yeah, that's right. You're being followed. Windows assigns you an advertising ID that apps use to serve targeted ads and track your behavior across different applications. It's like a digital fingerprint for advertisers. How to turn it off? Press Windows plus I to open settings. Go to privacy and security. General toggle off. Let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID. This won't stop all ads, but it stops personalized tracking. Windows is keeping a detailed diary of everything you do. Every file you open, every website you visit, every app you use, it's all being recorded. Microsoft syncs your activity history across devices, supposedly to help you pick up where you left off. But it's also a goldmine of data about your habits. How to turn it off. Settings, privacy and security, activity. History uncheck. Store my activity history on this device. Click Clear Activity History to delete exam. Manage my Microsoft account activity data. In your browser, turn off all activity tracking options. All right, I know this one's sneaky. Microsoft calls it diagnostic data, but really, it's them watching how you use Windows. Every crash, every error, every little thing you do, all get sent back. And no, you can't turn it off completely. But we can make it hurt less. Here's what you do. Go to Settings, Privacy and Security, Diagnostics and Feedback. Then turn off Improve Inking and Typing. Then turn off Tailored Experiences. Then turn off View Diagnostic Data. And finally, hit Delete Diagnostic Data to wipe what's already been collected. Pro tip, if you're on Windows 11 Home, that's as far as you can go. But if you're running Pro or Enterprise, you can dig even deeper and disable more tracking. Yo, huge shout out to Service Tech for becoming an advanced member of the channel. You're officially part of the SysHack Squad. Appreciate the love and support, bro. More exclusive content coming your way soon. Unless you're using your desktop as a GPS device, Windows has zero reason to know where you are. Seriously, why should your PC need your location just to open Chrome? Here's what's happening. Windows constantly tracks your location using your IP address, nearby Wi-Fi networks, and even GPS if your device has it. But don't worry, we're about to shut that down. Go to Settings, Privacy, and Security, Location. Then turn off Location Services at the top. If you do need it for certain apps, like Maps, keep it on but hit Clear under Location History to erase everything stored. Finally, scroll down and turn off Location Access for any apps that don't need to track you. And just like that, Windows stops knowing exactly where you are. You take back a little more privacy. You know that little webcam light on your laptop? Here's a secret. It only turns on when an app accesses your camera, not when it just has permission. Big difference. And yep, that means some apps could still technically have background access without you even realizing it. Let's lock this down. Go to Settings Arrow Privacy and Security Arrow Camera. Toggle off Camera Access. That's your global kill switch. Or if you want to keep it on for things like Zoom or OBS, 
scroll down and turn it off for any sketchy or unknown apps. Then do the same for your microphone under the privacy menu. Finally, scroll down and check which apps have used your camera recently. You might be surprised what shows up there. Get a $5 webcam cover. Seriously, like tech paranoia pays off because sometimes the best security is just a tiny sliding piece of plastic. Right now, dozens of apps are quietly running in the background. They're draining your battery, slowing your PC, and yeah, collecting data while you think your system's idle. Let's shut them down. Here's what's going on. Windows allows apps to stay active in the background, sending notifications, syncing data, and checking for updates. Sounds helpful, right? Until your fan sounds like a jet engine and your battery disappears in an hour. So let's fix it. Head over to Settings Arrow Apps. Arrow Installed Apps. Find any suspicious or unnecessary apps. Click the three dots, Advanced Options. Under Background App Permissions, choose Never. Don't stop there, go to Settings, Privacy and Security, then Background Apps. If you want to go full stealth mode, just toggle off background activity globally. Keep only the essentials running, like your antivirus or cloud sync tools. Everything else? They can chill until you actually open them. Every time you search your own PC for a file, a photo, or an app, Windows quietly sends that info to Bing. Why? So they can help with web suggestions. But honestly, who asked for that? It's your computer. Your searches should stay on it. Here's how to stop it. Open settings, privacy, and security. Search permissions. Turn off search highlights, search suggestions, and save search. Then under Cloud Content Search, switch off both Microsoft account and Work account. After that, your searches stay private. No more Bing tracking every keystroke. Simple, clean, private. Microsoft's voice assistant is always ready to help, which means it's always ready to listen. Every time you say, hey, Cortana, your voice gets sent to Microsoft's servers and stored for processing. Let's shut that down. Go to Settings Apps, Installed Apps. Find Cortana, click the three dots, Advanced Options. Turn off everything. Or better yet, uninstall it completely. Then go to Privacy and Security, Voice Activation. Turn off Let Apps Access Voice Activation and disable it for every app listed. That's it. No more open mic. No more background listening. Just silence. The good kind. Even if you've never used Cortana, Windows might still be sending your voice to the cloud. Yeah, there's a hidden setting for that, and Microsoft doesn't exactly advertise it. Here's what's happening. Windows sends snippets of your voice to Microsoft servers to improve speech recognition. Sounds helpful, until you realize it's recording you. To turn it off, open Settings, Privacy and Security, Speech. Then toggle off Online Speech Recognition. Sure, it might make dictation a little less accurate, but it also keeps your voice private. Windows thinks it knows what you want better than you do. Let's prove it wrong. Windows tracks your activity to show ads, tips, and app suggestions everywhere. Start menu, lock screen, even settings. Go to settings, privacy, and security general. Turn off all the tracking and suggestions. Then in personalization, start and lock screen. Disable recommendations and tips. No ads, no pop-ups, just your PC, and there you have it. 10 settings to take back your privacy. Microsoft isn't evil. They're just doing what every tech company does and collecting data. But you decide how much to share. Got a Windows privacy tip I missed? Drop it in the comments. Join my members group for exclusive content and hit subscribe for more privacy and tech smart videos.